and welcome to our channel. My name is Maria. In today's video, I want to talk and show a little bit some tips and tricks uh, uh, how to lift in the best way the eyelashes on the silicon shields uh, and how to, let's say, play a little bit with the adhesive to uh, ease your work. Check it out! Hello and welcome! In today's video, uh, I'm going to show you how is the correct way to lift the eyelashes to the silicon shields. But before lifting, I give you a little tip. How is the most comfortable, at least for me, but maybe it will help you as well. Before applying the silicon shields on the um, lash lids, I normally try to get my silicon shields into the shape of the eyes so I basically squeeze my silicon shield together like this and it takes the shape of the eye so it's much more comfortable after to place the silicon shields on the eyelids so as a first thing I will apply the adhesive on the silicon shields the quantity shouldn't be excessive, just a tiny bit. I tab it a little bit so the glue gets uh, really sticky. I place it to the center as close to the lash line as possible without covering the eyelashes. Okay, once the silicon shields are placed, I will just squeeze a little bit to make sure that it attaches perfectly to the lash lid. I start to add the adhesive with sectors without adding too big quantity of the adhesive. And also here on the silicon shields, I can dab a little bit that way the adhesive gets really sticky which helps me to lift the eyelashes on the silicon shields the outer corners i always lift with my lash lift tool as you can see I gave a little bit uh, the angle towards the inner corner and once I see that the eyelashes start to stick on the silicon shields I start to move them a little bit to make sure that they are straight. Once you see that the lashes are not moving it gets a little bit harder to uh, separate them. In that case as um, Lamy Super Booster Adhesive is 100% hydrosoluble, which means that uh, when we add um, some glue, some adhesive, they will get soft again and you can move perfectly the eyelashes. So this means that uh, if you think that you made some mistake, uh, the lashes are not perfectly separated, are not perfectly placed on the silicon shields, just add a little bit the adhesive, which makes uh, the previous adhesive a little bit softer. And you can remodel however you would like the eyelashes. As you can see, there are some pieces of the adhesive. This is completely normal because as we added the adhesive, we are removing the um, extra layer of the adhesive. So that way our lotions can penetrate uh, perfectly. Yeah. So once the eyelashes start to stick to the silicon shields, uh, I will add again a little bit adhesive. And I take my Y tool and I start to brush. It is, uh, it is really important that when you do this brushing uh, with the Y2, you have to make sure that the adhesive is soft. So if the eyelashes uh, have dried, uh, 
I mean the adhesive have dried, just add a little bit. So basically you can continue to do that uh, as long as you want. Uh, each time you see that something is off, uh, that some uh, eyelashes are crisscrossed, just add a little bit of adhesive. It softens the previous adhesive, what you already added, and you can remodel. As you can see, this little part uh, is perfectly separated. And now I will move to my next section. It is really important that you work by sections. Do first one part, if you want to start from uh, outer corner or inner corner, it's up to you, but always work with sectors. And for example, if you put the adhesive directly to the eyelashes, this is okay as well. Just make sure that you're gonna model and shape the eyelashes perfectly. If you want the eyelashes to get sticky on the uh, silicone shields, uh, take your uh, lash lift tool and just uh, press a little bit. That way you remove the excess of the adhesive and the eyelashes will remain attached like perfectly to the silicone shields. Uh. Re-add the adhesive and take my Y tool and make sure the eyelashes are perfectly separated. Do not be afraid to press a little bit on the silicone shields. Adding a little bit power will help you separate the eyelashes even more. And now I move another section. Make sure that I take also the smallest inner corner eyelashes as well. I help with my lash lift tool tip to separate. And of course, the last touch with my Y tool. I really, really like the Y tool because it's so easy to separate. It basically has these little brushes and they separate amazingly and with such an ease all the eyelashes. At the same time, pressing a little bit, that why the, um, that's how the eyelashes get um, attached perfectly to the silicone shields. And if you see that you need to fix something, just add again a little bit the adhesive. It will melt the previous adhesive, make the eyelashes softer. And you can continue to work and straighten them. And before moving uh, to uh, using our lotions, I always check uh, if under I don't find any lashes what are crisscrossing because it's important that every single eyelash is perfectly separated. Uh, 
So if you see that something is crisscrossing, it is important that you go and fix. The way I told you previously, just add some uh, adhesive and just work with your Y tool or your lash lift tool with the tip of lash lift tool to make sure that every single eyelash is perfectly separated. If you like this video, hit the like button. For other tips and tricks videos, follow our channel and follow us also on our Facebook and Instagram. See you soon!